I want to have a friend in each country and that's how I'm going to visit that country because that's a beautiful approach to the world tour. Hi Osama, nice to see you. Hi Lauren, how are you? How are you doing? Nice to see you Good. again. Yeah, what time is it in Jordan? It's uh, about to become 7 p.m. Oh wow, yeah, it's 10 a.m. here. Talk about the person sitting across from you. Where are you from and how did you meet? We met in WPC 101. In class, more than one class actually. <laughs> I met you at my social work internship. We're roommates and we're inseparable. Your roommate, Cass, came up to me by the pool and was like, hey, come meet my roommates. And you were sitting there and we were the only ones not in the pool. We met through um, ASU Online's place program. Lauren, you was my first friend and the first one I ever met at ASU. All right, uh, how are we different? We're different when it comes to like how we were raised in the traditions that we do. We have two uh, different lifestyles. I'm still living on the Arabian traditions. Uh, related to my culture. Uh, definitely cultural differences um, coming from China and from me, um, um, Ecuador. We have totally like different cultural background, like how we grow up, how we came to here, and also how we communicate with, cha with each other. The way we say straw in Spanish. <laughs> Everybody has their own version, um, but the correct version, of course, is Bahia. See, if you say that in Colombia, no one's going <laughs> to understand, or as it's pitillo. How are we the same? Um, I think we're really similar. We like the same kind of movies, though. Know? We have patience for our life, try to chase, chase our dream. I feel that is an amazing thing. Yes. You become best of friends. Yes, yes, it's been wonderful. We're both so interested in education and passionate about it and curious about the world and each other. So ASU is one of the most diverse universities. What is the value of coming to a college where the world goes to school? Once you know different people all from different countries, even if I know like one person from India or one person from France, like the world doesn't feel so large and like scary. One of the like highlights of our experience has been just cooking for each other yeah. and kind of using that as a way to also like get to And having like family dinners. Cultures. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't really ever travel when I was young and I still haven't had the opportunity to travel a lot. So I think being able to talk with you and seeing the pictures that you sent me like of the Dead Sea and your family and your house helped make connections that there are tons of people all over the world that are living life just like me. There's a lot of cool people and uh, around the world like they can't share it with us so we can uh, learn it from uh, from them. Also uh, I found a lot of uh, support from maybe my friends uh, especially from from Lauren. You've made me a kinder person and also kind of just more positive. Honestly I've been encouraged a lot from you this is what friend I should take. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. Thank you. And I share your sentiment. When you talk to people from different countries and cultures, like you're actually expanding your knowledge. It changes the classroom because if you have a lot of different backgrounds and a lot of different perspectives, you're not really just learning from the professor's curriculum. You're learning from each other. Once you leave college, you're not going to be in a bubble. You're not going to be like with a small group of people. You're not only going to interact with like a thousand people who all have the same thoughts and ideas as you. So, I mean, why would you want that for like four years? That doesn't really prepare you for real life. Mm -hmm. This like ASU prepares you for like going out in the real world and being able to like engage with other people. You know how people have this goals that, oh, I want to do a world tour or something like that. They want to go around the world. But I always think that I want to have a friend in each country and that's how I'm going to visit that country because that's a beautiful approach to the world tour. Instead of being a tourist in that country, I would want to be welcomed by my friend in that country, you know? All right. ASU's mission is based in who we include and how they succeed. 
Have you felt included and supported here? If so, can you give an example? My perspective was so valued in class. Also, the professors are also from all around the world and I think you get to learn different things from them as well. I'm an international success coach for Global Launch and I feel that throughout that program, we do so much for our students to make sure that they feel included. I know all their friends yeah, and they like, <laughs> like include me in plans like with open arms. It warms my heart. I've never ever felt that I'm from a different country unless someone asks me about it. You know, like they just treat me as a normal Mermaid, citizen. Right, yeah. <laughs> and in general, like even in, even in the classes or even in, on the campus or anywhere around, even if I, if I felt it, it's always positive, you know? Right. Like, oh, I, oh, you're from India? Tell me more about the culture and everything. It's always so positive and I've never, yeah. It's just so comfortable. I think for me, like a very special thing is just walking around campus and seeing people from different places yeah. because that makes me feel like I'm in the right place. Like I'm not here as a foreign student or like as an international student. I'm just yeah. another like ASU yeah. student and that's a nice, like warm feeling. Okay, next. Why is it important to reach out to people from different countries and make friends? What's the benefit of that friendship? Many people don't really like go seeking for roommates that are not from their country. And I feel like they should seek that discomfort because I found comfort in that discomfort. Like I've met so many people, be it from people from Italy, Venezuela, like all name the place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's just so different and they all bring such a unique perspective into different issues and the way they go about life. But actually connecting with somebody from a, a different culture and a different region and realizing that there's a whole human being behind those perspectives or stories that is rich and genuine and caring is really, really worth whatever effort you need to put in to form those friendships. At the end of the day, you get like lasting friendships. Like I know I'll know you forever, even if you move back to Canada. Good old poutine from Canada. <laughs>